G'day guys, Cliff Tyron here again today. And today I'm going to bring you uh, something a little bit different. We're going to be talking about fake Pokemon cards. This will be my first and last video on fake Pokemon cards, as I don't really want to promote fake Pokemon cards on my channel because, in my opinion, fake Pokemon cards are a problem for the community. Now, I have nothing against the channels that do this and collect fake Pokemon cards for the lols and just chuck them up to show how funny they look and stuff like that. But in my opinion, guys, um, I'm not a big fan of the fake stuff, and I thought I'd make a video today and tell you guys the reason why I think this is a problem for any collectors out there that are getting into it, plus sellers and buyers. But most of the problem I see is for young collectors, such as kids getting into the hobby and stuff like that. Now, my girlfriend is a teacher aide. She works at uh, one of the schools here in Logan. It's a city in, in, in Queensland. She works under a teacher that is quite young, you know, like same age as me, like mid 20s to late 20s. And she's massive on Pokemon. And every week she'll reward the kids with a booster pack or something like that at the end of the week. The class is actually pretty keen on Pokemon. Apparently my girlfriend tells me all the time how much these kids love Pokemon. Anyway, she was telling me about a story about a kid. He come to school, it was a show and tell day and he had these Pokemon cards. And she also mentioned that there was a few other kids that also brought their Pokemon cards as well. Now, this kid was showing his Pokemon cards off the classroom. Anyway, a few of the kids could easily pick up that some of his Pokemon cards were fake and they were calling him out in the middle of class saying, no, that's fake, that's a fake card. And my girlfriend witnessed this as she's a teacher aide and she told me the story. This is only a couple weeks ago. Now, this is where I see a problem with fake Pokemon cards. Now, I'm gonna go through this and show you guys what's inside here. I've had a look before, it's pretty ridiculous, really. All right, so when I bought this, I bought this at a corner store. I think it was near, sort of like, just at the outer suburbs towards Brisbane and stuff like that. This was only $3. And I instantly knew it was fake because of the price and because it has a Pokemon Go symbol on here and it has the trading card game and Steam Siege. Now, I'm sure you've seen a few videos on other people's channels. So a Pokemon Go symbol indicates that this is definitely a fake product. And also another reason you'll probably know this is fake, I don't believe any trading card game product has Ash and Pikachu on the, on the front of it. Unless it's like movie promos and stuff like that. I think, you know, um, the I Choose You movie had some stuff like that, but stuff like this with Steam Siege and stuff, with those three things on it does not add up. So yeah, guys, this is definitely a fake product. So we're gonna open this up. I'm gonna have a look at some of the monstrosities that are inside here. All right, guys, so we have an Ampharos uh, EX card on the front here, and as you can see, you can see the back, it's very dull. Probably use a normal Pokemon card for reference. Almost looks like it's been printed from a computer, and you can tell the difference there between the two cards, as one is a lot more darker, and, well, just right at the front of it, too, you can tell how misty this card is. It's very, you know, cloudy. You know, it's not very detailed and it definitely looks uh, counterfeit. All right, guys, so we've got a Magic Carp here. We've got a Slowbro GX, which is probably one of the worst cards I've seen in this set. All right, guys, so we have this awful Slowbro G EX card, at least a GX then. But um, yeah, you can definitely tell this is fake because the way it's been cut, for one, and the way it's been printed. As you can see at the top there, the basic uh, symbol is like literally been cut right at the top. It's been cut very poorly. Everyone knows an EX card is a holographic card. I'll just use the real one for reference there, as you can see there. Definitely a fake card, this one. And that's my real Slowbro EX card from um, Evolutions. Also, that's it, guys. You're getting Evolution cards inside Steam Siege, so, you know, it doesn't really make sense. That's one thing to look out for as well. Got Volpix, got a Diglett, got a Onyx. <laughs> it's a reverse holo that has been photographed. It's sort of like, it's almost captured the shine, if that makes sense, and it's a still pick of the holographic. All right, guys, so another card that's just been photocopied, the charm in there, the reverse holo. So that's obviously definitely fake, definitely awful. What else we got here? We got a few more. Ah, here we go. Misty's Determination. All right, guys, so this is like an ultra rare card, I guess, a full art card and stuff. And these are usually textured, as you can see there from the shine of the light I've got. There's no texture there, it's just cardboard. Anyone who collects Pokemon cards know that these are textured cards. And that's a definite indication that this is fake. We've got another EX that is not holographic. But, uh, oh, here we go. <laughs> got a Charizard. Holographic. All right, so if you look to the left here, you can see how how poorly this has been cut to. On the right side here, we've got a much thicker line. But on the left side, it's a lot more thinner. All right, guys, so uneven cutting is also a problem with these cards. And you can definitely tell they're definitely a fake card. Didn't even find anything else. Oh, here we go. We got Zapdos. Yeah, definitely another fake uh, EX card. 
And as I said, the sets don't match up either, guys. So you get a lot of evolutions in here, but there's mixed other cards in it as well. All right, guys, so we've got my favorite art of all time there, the Nidorino card from um, Mishira Arita, but that's a fake version of it. Got a Secret Rare Executor, Japanese, and we got some other bogus cards here too. Yeah, guys, that's the card I used at the start to show you the reference. But that's a legit card that I'll tell you all. All right, guys, so you look through this uh, little deck thing I got, and this is why I see it as a problem. All right, so a collector like myself, these cards are obviously, you can tell they're fake. But to a younger kid, guys, who really wants Pokemon cards, and just say you're a parent that picks these up for cheap and gives them to your kid, they're going to take these to school, and they're going to find out the hard way that these are fake, and a lot of kids who have the real deal are going to give them a lot of hell for it, in my opinion. Now, as a parent, I think that if you're going to buy Pokemon cards for your kids, I honestly think you should buy the real deal. For $3, you get a lot of cards here, but you may as well spend the extra $2, well, here in Australia, at least, spend the extra $2, and buy a legitimate booster pack for this for your kids because at the end of the day they can go back to their friends who have the legit stuff as well probably and they won't be ridiculed for having fake items and stuff like that but guys kids aren't as stupid as what people think they are and stuff they definitely know a fake and stuff like that they can definitely tell us stuff obviously they watch videos like this and stuff on youtube and they can definitely tell if a card's fake all right guys so this brings me to my second problem i have with pokemon cards that are fake and that is buying and selling from online now, obviously you can see the back of these two cards. One's a legitimate card, one I've had for ages. I've had this for a long time. And the second one I actually bought from eBay to show you guys that these things are actually out there and you should actually watch what you buy. All right guys, so we have a uh, Dark Tyranitar, legitimate one on the on the right here. The beautiful um, one from um, Team Rocket Returns, EX Team Rocket Returns. And we have a fake one right here on the left-hand side. Now, I bought this card like only a couple weeks ago to show you guys the difference between the two cards. Now, probably a couple of you guys watching right now are thinking, hang on, Collector Tyrant, aren't you against uh, fake cards? So why are you buying them? Well, as I said before, this is my first and last video on fake cards. So I decided to buy this card and um, put it up against my legitimate card here on the right. So I thought to myself, I'm going to definitely buy this card and show my channel the difference between the two cards. All right, guys, so you can see on the writing there, the actual font is totally different. There's definitely two different types of styles of writing there. And the one on the right is what Pokemon uses for their font. And the one on the left is actually found on a lot of counterfeit cards. Very different fonts. You can probably see down the bottom there too that the energy symbols are a lot different too. One's a lot bigger on the fake card. On the fake card's a lot more thicker and bigger. Yeah, I showed you the backs before, but you can definitely tell once again that the darker, the darker blues the, is real stuff and the lighter blues a lot more faker. Also, I'm not going to bend this card too much, but you can definitely tell that a Pokemon card, like I'm just doing that lightly with my fingers. It's very tough. And it's very stern, very thick. Whereas we use a, um, a fake card here, you can almost bend it like right in half. You know, it's definitely a fake card. It's made of uh, much more poor materials than a um, than a normal card would be. Now, now that's definitely a reason why I don't like fake cards because these things can be sold to people. They can use fake photos of real cards, and then eventually you get the card in your mail, and you look at it and you think, oh, I've just paid probably ten dollars for a card that wasn't even real. And these things are out there, guys. There's plenty of um, eBay's out there that might even not know they're doing this. It might be just an accident. They might have the card. Think, oh, I'm selling it off, and you know, and unfortunately, it's a fake card. But the one thing you should always check when buying from the internet is always check if they have legit photos of the of the product you're buying. If they've got photos of the card, have a look at those things. If the font's different, don't buy it. If it looks sort of out of place, do not buy that card. Sometimes a lot of the cards are actually represented from photos from the internet too. This is another indication where you should watch out if you're going to buy this card. If they're just using a photo from the internet, you could probably assume that it's a real card, buy it, and then it comes to you in the mail and you look at it and it could turn out like this card right here. And you could have a fake card, you probably spent 10 to $20 on it and it's, it's not legitimate. Also guys, another thing you should check too is that if the score on the eBay seller is at 100%, sometimes I go with 99.9, .9, but if they sold lots of products and stuff like that and they have good ratings and stuff like that, Make sure you check that before you buy cards and stuff. And that's that's a real indication that you're going to buy a decent, legitimate card. All right, guys, so that's my opinion on our fake cards. I know it's been done a hundred times on other channels and stuff like that, but I thought about my take on it and what I think of fake cards and stuff like that. And, you know, I really don't think they're worth much at all, to be honest. You know, I definitely want to want to buy fake cards for my, my kids or I wouldn't want to end up with a fake card coming to me in the mail if I spent a lot of money on it. And yeah, guys, I think fake cards are definitely something that should be kept out of the community. 
But yeah, guys, if you want to like buy fake cards and stuff like that and keep it to yourselves, that's fine. But as long as you're not selling them to other people or trading them to the like younger people that don't much about the hobby, that's totally fine by me. But as I said before, guys, this will be the last time I mentioned fake cards in my channel. And just watch out what you buy from eBay and stuff like that, guys. And make sure you buy the... And if you're a parent, buy the legit product for your kid. Just to, just to help them out in their social life and stuff like that. You know, I really think that is a big deal. Um, a lot of us probably think, oh, it's just Pokemon cards. You'd be happy with that. But but as I said before, kids know the, the real deal. As I said, they're watching videos like this and they can tell a fake card. All right, guys. So I've spoken about this enough. I've talked about fake cards too much. And I think it's time to move on to another video. Got a bit of a migraine at the moment, so I'm trying to get through this. But um, yeah, guys, um, that's it for me today. Hope you enjoyed my video on fake cards. I hope I didn't ramble on too much. For all you collectors out there, keep on collecting and make sure it's real. And I'll see you in the next one. All right, time now.